Hey there, everybody. Frelony from Webhead here. And well, here I am, and today is December 5th of 2017. This is the first video that I've um, uploaded in a very long while, and it's due because of Hurricane Maria. Yes, for those of you who didn't already know, I live here in Puerto Rico, and, you know, over the past two months, we've been dealing with the aftermath of what happened on September the 20th, which is a date that will never be forgotten, because that's when Hurricane Maria, a super cyclone hurricane of epic proportions, just simply came through this island, and well, it weaved a path of devastation and destruction, unlike the, the likes of which has not been seen in Puerto Rico in a very long time, according to what, uh, you know, my elders have told me. But yes, here I am, and, well, thanks to God, we've survived. Um, here in the island, we've survived through this storm, and, you know, thankfully, the, the willpower of the people to keep pushing forward, and all the help that's been coming from the United States and from, you know, other countries, you know, it, it's really helped. And, well, this is a message that I want to get out to all those people who have family here in Puerto Rico, to all those people who are from here and, you know, need comforting words. And just so you know, so the, the world in general can hear a little bit of what I want to say. Um, people lost a uh, good many things when this hurricane came through. Uh, they lost their jobs. They lost loved ones. They lost their homes. Well, it, it, it's the kind of stuff you see in movies and anime, the kind of stuff that that really boggles your mind and touches you in the heart. And well, so many people lost so many things, and, you know, it when, after the hurricane happened, it, it, it was just crazy. I mean, the lines for, for, for filling up on gas for cars, it, it, it the, the lines were abnormal, and people would fight over gasoline. And there was, you know, a time when food was running short because people were desperately trying to get food. There was no water for a long time, so we had to go and look for water in different places and whatnot. It was quite an ordeal, and at least thankfully from where I live, I didn't have to witness the worst of it. But there are many places in the island where no help has come, and there are many places in the island where, you know, things look pretty much... uh as devastated as they did when the hurricane hit. But thankfully, you know, the people, uh, all the people that have come from the U.S. to help, you know, they've been helping little by little, and I really appreciate all the work that they've put into restoring the island to what it once was. And while this is something that really changed us, it's something that really changed things, uh, and, and this is something that's going to go for the history books. Like, when I'm older and when people of our generation are older, this is a story we'll, we'll tell for, for the generations to come. But yeah, it, it's just amazing, uh, everything that happened. But well, when things like this happen, you learn to value life more. You learn to, you know, value all the things that comprise your life. You know, the little things. Every little minuscule detail, you just take it in and you learn to appreciate the value of life more. And you appreciate all the things around you. And really, in situations like this, you get to see uh, the the kindness and the goodwill of people. I mean, obviously, there are some people that stay rude and bitchy and whatnot, but there are people who, in times of crisis, really do reach out to you and lend a helping hand. And, you know, that's the kind of stuff that allows us to, you know, keep having faith in humanity, because, you know, not all of humanity is screwed up, as we might like to think. Because... Humanity, there's still some good in us, so that's good. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about this for a bit. And well, to say that I am back and that I will be uploading uh, videos as I would usually do. So I hope that you enjoy what I have in store for you guys and gals. And well, I'm just happy to report that I'm alive and kicking, that my family's doing okay, and that I hope all of you are doing okay. So God bless. And may all of you have a wonderful day. So then, this is Friendly Neighborhood Webhead, signing out.